Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window, and today we're going to be doing some Overwatch. As you can see here, the suspect's got 23 kills, 190 damage around, with a 39% headshot percentage. Actually, these stats look fairly legitimate, even though he does have 23 kills in 13 rounds, and is bunny hopping his way over here towards Cat. Obviously, he is blatantly cheating. One guy here on Cat, actually going to stare at him right through the wall and just shoot him in the head, and going to be making his way up Catwalk. Hey, you know what? I was hoping for the best. Let's be honest. There are a lot of cheaters in CSGO, but I was hoping we'd find someone legit today. Obviously, this first case isn't it. Watch as he b-hops his way backwards down long. One guy in long doors and the suspect here holding the angle, waiting for Vortex to come over here and peek him. And it looks like Vortex is going to do just that. And the suspect is able to get a no-scope headshot with the AWP. All right, the suspect here making his way back over here towards mid. One guy wants to cross mid. He's going to shoot him through the door. So he's going to try to shoot back at him through the door. As you can see, that guy is also cheating. It is a shame I can't go on to that guy and report him as well. All right, two guys outside of Long. The suspect B hopping his way over here towards Long. One guy on the left-hand side of the door. The suspect's going to take a shot through the thick part of the wall. Not going to be able to do anything there. But going to continue to push out here. Should be able to take down Vortex in a moment. He's out, gets the headshot onto Vortex. That's just going to leave one counter-terrorist remaining. AFK and CT spawn, and I believe the suspect should be able to come around the corner here and take him down in a moment. Suspect's going to peek around, going for the knife kill, and able to knife stump in the back. All right, guys, I feel like we've seen plenty of this case. Uh, aim assistance confirmed, vision assistance confirmed, and of course, other external assistance confirmed. So let's go and report this. All right, time for the Overwatch resolution. As I just mentioned, major disruption aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for vision assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, gonna go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. So we find ourselves on D Mirage, the suspect here in warm up, making his way over here towards the A side. Gonna throw a smoke grenade here. Peeks around the corner. Looks like he knew exactly where Cyclone and Seal were right through the wall. And gonna throw a flashbang over the top here. Looks like he is wall hacking right off the bat, but at least he's not spin botting. So we're gonna keep watching and see if he uses any kind of other external assistance or if it's just a wall hack. We're on to the pistol round. The suspect here making his way over here towards the A site. You can see Cyclone there on the left hand side. Of course, he knows exactly where he's going to be able to come out and take down Cyclone. One guy over here by jungle pre-aims him through the wall. There's quite a bit of damage to him. And of course, shooting the guy in connector right through the wood. All right, two guys in connector. Be able to take down Vulture going for the repeat here on Seal. And it really does not look like he's using any form of aim assistance. It really looks like he's just using that wall hack. One guy in sight here on the left-hand side, one guy on the right-hand side, picking up to take down Flute. And as you can see, he was able to do a lot of damage to both of those guys, but McCall and Mask pick up the kill. The suspect making his way over here towards the B site, checking over back there by bench, but of course, he knows exactly where this guy is as he scans everything. He doesn't see anyone by bench, so he looks over here towards Cat, and he was able to tag him down quite low. Sparrow is able to take down Whale, and the suspect looks like he's going to go hunting here. One guy pushing through the smoke there, of course he knows he did, able to take down Vulture, and the last guy is over here in market. He knows he's there for sure, and going to reposition over here. McCall is going to take down Seal. Alright, this time the suspect making his way through Palace. As you can see, there is one guy on stairs, but he knows he's there because he can see through that wall. He's going to peek out and try to shoot him through the smoke. Cyclone's actually going to spot him out. You can see a little bit of his legs, I guess. Maybe he's cheating. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, he's going to take down Seal through that smoke. The Molly gets the kill, so we don't see the smoke kill there. And he's going to be peeking out, able to take down Whale as well. That wall hack is blatantly obvious. I'm just going to leave one counter terrorist. And of course, the suspect's going to know he's rotating through CT spawn. Sets up for it, but Sparrow picks up the final kill. All right, this round, the suspect pushing over here towards underpass. One guy is in underpass. He is able to take down Whale. Going to be repositioning back over here towards the B site. Throws a smoke over the top here as he follows Wagon over here into the site. Wagon's going to throw a flash for Catwalk. There is one guy on Cat, way far back on Cat. As you can see, Vulture is in market. The suspect's going to peek out over here. On the angle, trying to take some shots at Vulture and able to finish him off. This guy on Catwalk has had the ability to push up here aggressive onto the suspect. He might be able to catch him off guard because of that. He was able to, 
and takes him down. Nice little jumping smoke over here towards middle. And now making his way up towards top mid, throwing a flashbang over the top here and peeking over here towards window. As you can see, there is one guy over there by jungle. And I'm pretty sure the suspect knows he's there. That guy's actually falling back around towards CT spawn. One guy up on catwalk here and one guy next to connector, able to take down the guy on connector with some pretty instant reactions. Still got to worry about one guy over there by ticket booth. But the suspect is using those wall hacks as well as he can to try to navigate between these players and catch them on the rotations. All right, last guy over there at the A site. Suspect is going to go hunt down the final kill here. A couple hops right there. Is he using a B hop script? It doesn't really seem like he's able to keep those hops going. He is hitting a hop here or two, but not really consistently enough for me to say it is definitely other external assistance. As you can see, Seal has made his way up here onto the balcony, so the suspect tries to molly him. Seal has to push in, he gets the kill, and time for them to try to execute onto that A site. Whale there on the stairs. Gonna start spamming at him. He actually gets ganked by Whale down to 14 HP, but his teammate is gonna finish off Whale. He's gonna leave one guy in sight, and the suspect's gonna peek aggressive. One guy by Tribox. He is able to take him down, gonna plant that bomb, and then just gonna leave one counter terrorist remaining, pushing his way from mid here. All right, the suspect down to 14 HP, but Sparrow's gonna pick up the final kill. All right, the suspect pushing his way over here towards sight. There is one guy in back of sight and one guy up on catwalk. Gonna throw a smoke grenade over there towards the van and try to take a shot at Flute through the wood here. All right, the suspect spraying at Flute does quite a bit of damage through that wood, but there are three counter terrorists over here and might be a good idea to reposition and try to go for the other site. Guy up here on catwalk, Flute pushing aggressive. He is able to take down Flute, of course, a lot easier when he can pre aim through the wall like that. And that's just gonna leave one counter terrorist remaining, rotating over from CT spawn. All right, the suspect was making his way towards Palace when AFK for a moment, but he's back. I don't know if he was typing to them or configuring his settings or maybe something just came up in real life, but as we can tell, he is definitely cheating. Definitely at least wall hacking, though I haven't really seen any evidence to suggest he is using an aim lock. He is able to take down Whale here. Of course, he knew he was pushed up, so he was able to take him down by peeking him perfectly and going to be making his way over here towards the A site. He has this site completely clear, but Bomb is down in B halls. Doesn't seem to matter as his teammates clean up the final kills. All right, guys, time for the Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this. As for Mage Disruption Aim Assistance, I actually believe that was his natural aiming ability. So I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here. It was just his natural aiming ability assisted by the Vision Assistance. And yes, he was definitely using Vision Assistance. So that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for Major Disruption of the External Assistance, he hits some hops from time to time, but not consistently enough for me to say this is definitely using some kind of script. So I'm going to go with Insufficient Evidence here. And as for Minor Disruption Griefing, I'm going to go with Insufficient Evidence here. He wasn't griefing his teammates and trying to lose this game. Let's move on to the next case. Next up, we find ourselves in Wingman on Vertigo. And as you can see here, the suspect has one kill, four deaths. Actually, these stats look like this guy might actually be legitimate. He might be the first legitimate case of the day, and the first legitimate case I've had in quite some time. Either way, he's gonna be pushing his way over here towards middle. Flashbang's gonna come up over the top here and blind the suspect. Hey, that means he doesn't have some kind of no flash cheat on. That's good. Either way, gonna be spamming over there towards the CT up there in connector. Not quite able to take him down. Peeks back out, and I'm trying to determine if he's using a wall hack. Then again, the first spot he took a shot at was a pretty difficult spot for people to be playing in, and then he knew that they were trying to chase him down, so he probably just pre-fired that. Either way, it looked like he got caught off guard there by the aggression, and now going to be making his way around the other way. All right, this round he's going to be creeping his way over here towards the B site. Let's see if he knows where Woodpecker is. Looks like he does. Looks like he was staring at him through the wall. Maybe we'll take some shots. I'd say that's some pretty damning evidence right there that he's probably wall hacking. All right, the suspect aiming at the ground. Did some kind of little glitchy thing right there. And now we're going to be pulling out the scout. And you know what I like to say? Scout reveals all. I imagine he's going to get nothing but headshots right here. Oh, he's going to decide to go with that auto sniper. One guy there in CT spawn. The suspect making his way through this connector here. And over here into the B site. Of course, he knows exactly where that last counter terrorist is. He's just staring at him through the wall. We have confirmed he is wall hacking already. But I imagine this is where we're going to see that he is actually using an aim lock as well. Woodpecker is able to take down Pelican. Suspect's going to peek out and able to take down Woodpecker. Actually, I'm not entirely sure that was an aim lock, but B-Hop script has been confirmed, and that's under external assistance. There's the aim lock, 
Able to take down Puffin with a crazy flick shot and able to take down Woodpecker as well. All right, so it took a few rounds, but we were finally able to confirm the full-on trifecta with the aim assistance, vision assistance, and of course, other external assistance. Gonna be pushing his way around, able to take down Puffin and Woodpecker once again. Let's go and report this. Time for the Overwatch resolution. As for Mage Description Aim Assistance, at the very beginning of this game, I didn't think he was using any, but he definitely toggled it on there at the end. So that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for Vision Assistance, again, on that first round, I don't think he was using Vision Assistance, but by that second round, it was blindly apparent. So evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for Mage Description Other Shell Assistance, on the very last round of the first half, he started bee hopping all over the place, so that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And as for griefing, gonna go with insufficient evidence here. That's today's cases. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.